Hi everyone, I'm Srikanth. Let's see how Python handles incremental data load with its proprietary teleport sync methodology. Incremental data load allows to sync only the data that has changed since the last sync. So here we are trying to talk about a scenario where the initial sync between your source as well as the destination is completed and the day-to-day -day updates to the database at your source should also get updated on your uh, final destination database. So in order to make this incremental data load, we need to capture the changed data. So that is nothing but that is called as changed data capture. So changed data capture or CDC is the ability to identify the changes uh, that were made on the source from its previous state. Let's talk about the types of incremental data load. We have something called log-based incremental data load, which needs the transaction logs to be parsed and then capture the changes that were made on the uh, data to be implemented onto the destination database. This is a uh, log-based data offers real-time data load. They are faster, but at the same time comes with the complexity as well as the dependency on having the transaction log. Coming to snapshot based, these are like here it takes a snapshot of the changes that were done on your uh, source database and applies them or compares them to your destination database and applies those changes. It's easy to perform, but at the same time, uh, it is slower and doesn't offer the real time uh, updates. Okay, what Fitran has to hand offer. So, Fitran comes with something called as Fitran Teleport Sync. So, it comes with the simplicity of the snapshots as well as it comes up with the fastness of the log-based approaches. We didn't, don't need any timestamps uh, to handle the changes to be implemented. At the same time, we don't need the transaction logs as well. Right. So here, this is how the teleport sync works. So it scans and then it compares your uh, tables with your destination data warehouse and applies the deltas onto the destination warehouse. Okay, coming into the migration scenarios that I'm trying to uh, explain over here are like we can insert some new rows into our source database or we can update or delete some existing rows. We can add some new columns as well as we can rename or delete some existing columns. So here let's try to see how incremental data load handles these scenarios. So let's say if you are adding, um, adding some new rows, I mean inserting or updating some existing rows the sync will happen exactly as is. So here the green colored uh, row, rows represent the newly added rows and the uh, peach colored rows represent the rows that are that have been inserted and as well as updated into your destination. Coming okay. I mean, to the scenario where you delete an existing rows, right? So once you delete an existing row at your source, how does Fitran handle it in your destination? So here, Fitran doesn't delete the row, but in terms, uh, but in turn, it updates the deleted column that Fitran creates. Fitran underscore deleted column, it marks it as deleted or marks it as true, right? So here, the uh, what Fitran offers is, is a soft delete option, adding up a new column. So let's say at your source, you add a new column and in your destination, the new column gets added. But here, as you see, like, I mean, I have marked one value in a column as null. This null represents the, the row that was deleted in your previous scenario. As you can see, the uh, Fitran deleted column is also marked as true over here. So for that particular uh, attribute, the value will be null. Uh, let's say if a column has been deleted at your source, so Fitran doesn't not delete the column at your destination, but in turn, it nullifies the values. This enables the downstream systems to, or the scripts that you write on your destination data, uh, using your destination database to function as is, right? I mean, let's say if you have mentioned a particular column and if you have using, or if you have written some scripts or stored procedures on top of that, they will function as is. So that is the kind of uh, facility that Fitran is offering over here. 
Okay, let's say if you're trying to rename an existing column. So this is again a change, a schema level change, right? So when you're trying to rename an existing column, PyTran creates a new column and it transfers all the data from the previous from the earlier column to the new column and nullifies the values in the previous column. Okay. So here if you see the second column has all the null values but prior to that it creates a new column with the new name that you have created and transfers all the data back uh, data into the new column so this is how fitron handles if a new column uh, sorry if a column has been renamed so let's try to see how these scenarios can be handled with a demo here we have uh, a ready-made setup that is done. So we're in which the source is in the Postgres RDS and the uh, destination is Snowflake. And the connections have already been established using Teleport Sync and the initial load is already completed. So as I have mentioned, this is our uh, AWS RDS account, which has demo PG1 as the database. and this is how the data appears in your uh, source. All right. This is the total uh, count of records that are available in each of these tables. Coming to our uh, destination, this is our snowflake. And this is where we have all the tables data. Like I mean, we have five tables along with fighter and audit as well. The data is already synced. So let me just uh, have you a glimpse of our uh, database in Snowflake. Yes, this is the data that is existing in my Snowflake account. Same data that is there in your Postgres has already been moved in here. So in order to simulate uh, the current uh, scenarios that I have uh, created, so what I did was like I created some uh, Python scripts, which will actually do the uh, updates to the database in RDS. To verify our first scenario, I would be like inserting some new rows as well as updating uh, some existing uh, rows of data. So when it comes to like updates, this is what I have. I'm updating in this particular table. I'm updating reason for visits to clinical, principal to a surgical and secondary to therapeutic. Let's have a look at what is there in our existing uh, source. And this should get updated as you can see all the values have been updated to clinical surgical and therapeutic as mentioned let's see how fitran picks it up and syncs it with our destination all right the sync is done and let's check our destination database yes as we can see all the column values have also got updated let's proceed with our next scenario where i would be like deleting some rows of data a simple script where i'd be like deleting some rows based on a particular condition so let's go ahead and delete those rows once the sync happens the fitran deleted column should be updated to true as fitran teleport sync offers uh, a soft delete option so this particular column value should be updated to true for these rows let's see whether that happens or not all right the sync is completed and let's see how our changes have been implemented so the host still exists and as i have mentioned this value has become true so let's look at for one more table as well yes the row exists but the value has been turned as blue the, the Fitran deleted column has turned to true. Let's proceed further and go to the next scenario where I would be inserting a new column. In this particular table, I don't have a column called room needed and I would be inserting one more. So a new column has been added based on a condition. The sync is completed and let's check our destination. So once the sync is completed, Let's re-execute the query to see whether the new column has been added or not. 
Here we go. So a new column has been added, room needed, and with the values as true and false based on the condition. And as I mentioned, for the row that was already deleted in the previous uh, section, so let's see how Apple syncs that one. So for the fight for the places where the fight run deleted is true, the room needed value is null. So that has been taken care. So let's proceed to the next scenario where I would like to drop an existing column. I would be like deleting the newly added column. As I have mentioned, the dropped column will still remain, but the values will all get nullified. So as you can see for the whole table, the values are nullified for room needed column. Let's proceed further and see how the rename column works. I'm trying to rename act quantity to activity quantity. Okay, now ACT quantity has been will get renamed to activity underscore QTY. All right, once the sync is completed, let's go ahead and verify the changes in our. So, as I mentioned, Fitran will retain the original column ACT underscore quantity and it will nullify all the values that are existing in that column. At the same time, it will create a new column with the new name that we have proposed and it will transfer all the data that was existing in the previous column to the new column. So here we would see activity underscore QTY as well as ACT underscore quantity with the ACT quantity values got nullified and activity quantity core values got inserted with the new value. So this brings to the end of uh, this small demo where I tried to like uh, showcase all the scenarios of insertions of rows as well as uh, columns and renaming and deletion of columns. Probably all the DML operations that usually happen on the source and how they get reflected onto our uh, uh, destination database. Thank you. Thank you. Also.